Entering the Cascade County Detention Center has been a little more stressful than usual the past couple of months for detention officer Benjamin Aliperto. It's definitely added a new sense of responsibility, but also I think just heightened awareness of realizing that we have to understand that the things that we're doing could honestly just add for more opportunities for people to take advantage of different situations. The inmates have also been feeling the pressure of the coronavirus. But I think as things were going on and they were saying the care and need uh, that we had for them and our medical staff had for them, uh, I believe it definitely eased tensions. We have all the blocks. Dozens of inmates and close to 20 officers have tested positive since the pandemic began. But as of Wednesday, there were only two positive cases in inmates in the county side of the detention center. Detention officer Corporal Shelby Watson says at first the cases were worrisome. Wondering if you're going to bring it home to your family or not. But, you know, at the end of the day, we have a job to do here. Everyone worked well as a team. The teamwork implementing the sheriff's office's plan for controlling the virus is what Sheriff Jesse Slaughter credits for the success in reducing the number of coronavirus cases. <laughs> the first step was to get other sheriff's offices to take some of the Department of Corrections inmates to free up space in the detention center. We were able then to create a quarantine pod. It was a plan on how we can take people who are unknown bring them into the facility and keep them safe. He says the success takes a lot of pressure off the detention center staff, knowing they have a plan that works. In Cascade County, Coulter Anstat, MTN News. The sheriff says the plan in place will continue to be used for any future cases of the virus. As for the Lewis and Clark County Detention Center, Sheriff Leo Dutton says there have been no additional positive cases in the last two weeks. The total ended up being four inmates and seven staff. The jail pods that had been restricted are now back to normal operations and the detention staff are all back to work.